Today is the day. Today is June 23rd, the day I defend. Right now I'm about to do some cell culture and then I'm gonna pull some cells to do I think one more experiment. I just need to get conditioned media of some ovarian cancer cell lines and do an ELISA on it, counting down to my defense. Okay, so today is April 30th and this Friday, May 5th, I will be having a committee meeting. We will just be going over everything that I've completed since I've done my qualifying exam. Done with everything at this moment. However, they might throw in a couple suggestions. I'm preparing my presentation for not only my dissertation, but my meeting. So I'm working on a Prezi, which if you're not familiar with a Prezi, instead of PowerPoint, this is like a much more interactive way of presenting your information. So it kind of goes like that, and it goes into that, kind of like all that fun stuff. So tentative date for defense is the first week of July. It's late, I'm tired. We need to get one more cell line out of our liquid nitrogen. It is May 2nd. I'm actually meeting with my PI tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be discussing my presentation a little bit and a paper submission I have for a publication. And I've been talking to Jeff and I'm kind of struggling with a couple things. So typically in a defense, you not only defend your thesis, but you have to portray to the general audience that you discovered something you're gonna tell them about. Generally, people will talk to the room as if everyone in the room is an expert in what they do because I think they forget that not everyone knows everything that they do. Of course, their committee does, so the presentation is in essence for the defense of your PhD and for your committee, but you also have a bunch of other people in the room that are trying to understand what you just discovered, trying to figure out a way to portray my data. Instead of trying to sound really smart, I kind of just want to tell a story. The way that my project has unfolded is that it kind of does tell a story, how I led from one focus of each chapter that leads into the next chapter. I just want it to sound very cohesive. I want people to walk out of the room not like, wow, she sounded really smart or that was really boring, it was way over my head. I want them to walk out of the room as if they understood everything that I said because I was able to communicate it in such a way that they were like, wow, that was really cool. I got everything that she said. I think what her work was really important to the field of research and to the field of cancer. I'm trying to think of how, how to do that. I'm working on that right now. We'll see how it goes. What is up guys? Today is May 3rd. I actually just met with my PI and everything is looking good so far. We just needed to go over my presentation. Then we also needed to go over a publication that I just finished. I'm going to be submitting it to the Journal of Ovarian Cancer Research. And the way that you submit a paper to a journal is a very specific process. They're very picky. Coursework is good. My GPA is good. All the publications are in order. All the presentations, all the abstracts I've submitted, all those things are on that. That will be given to my committee and they will sign off on it and then I should be good to go to defend. Good morning, today is May 5th and it is the day of my committee meeting. So today I'm just going over everything that I have so far, any updates and the committee should be giving me an okay. I'll show you what the room looks like and a little bit of what my presentation looks like when I get there. So I just got out of my final committee meeting. I have a tentative date for my dissertation, June 23rd, so actually quite a bit sooner than I was expecting, but everything went extremely well. Everyone was really happy with the work that I had done, so now I am off to celebrate and enjoy the weekend, but then I have to get like right back to work because I have to finish writing my dissertation and submit it two weeks prior to June 23rd, June 9th. Holy, so a lot of writing to do. I'm 
set for the wedding. However, this is actually a government run venue. A venue is government run. They don't allow anyone that's not Egyptian to get in. So I'm currently sitting in the car right now while the ceremony is going on because I wasn't allowed in. But I had an idea. I was warned that this might happen. that some people who ask a lot of questions about what causes cancer, what makes cancer worse, is a good example of why it's not that simple. Some people are saying that tumor cells or cancer feed off of glucose, so a lot of people are under the impression that the ketone diet is like an anti-cancer diet, I guess. But research, like it, it's not always like a one-way street, so a good example would be that if you were to suppress having glucose in your cellular metabolism or the lack of glucose in your diet, yes, it would suppress the tumor cells from getting glucose or, and or nutrients. They've also shown that it suppresses the function of CD8 T cells, which is part of your immune system. So everything has a compensatory reaction as a, as a result of doing some sort of intervention. When you do A, then B happens. They forget that when you do A, C, D, E, and F also happen. So as a result of it, because of it, it, it deflecting the innate and adaptive immune system, then the cancer just took over. Even though you halted cellular metabolism, cancer can find a way around it. Just some review papers, just uh, to write my introduction chapter on my, uh, my dissertation. Good. Knowledge bomb. Hello, today is May 22nd. Jeff and I have been back from Egypt now for five days, I can't even recall, and I'm still a little bit sick since I've been back from Egypt. Right now, I'm currently working on the intro for my dissertation. I just had my room officially set for June 23rd at 10 a.m. The common issue is, is that you have to make sure that all of your committee can make it. It's 6.30 at night, but I'm having two shots of espresso, and then I'm gonna continue doing work. Oh yeah, so on the way back from Egypt, Jeff and I actually stopped in Paris. So aside from it being huge, it's actually incredibly beautiful here. And there's the Eiffel Tower. <gasps> Doing some literature reading. My intro. It's not even close to being done, but it's a work in progress. Okay, and the countdown continues as today is May 25th. So yesterday I attended a dissertation writing workshop which is required for you to understand the formatting for the submission of your dissertation. It is very complex. They want it to be very specific. They teach you how to check for plagiarism, copyright, all those sorts of things. It was a three hour class. I kind of went over the formatting of my own dissertation at the moment and I am going to probably discuss a few things with my major professor right now. So I'm going to go into the lab, talk to her about how things are going with my writing. This weekend I am going to to Toronto. I have to kind of orchestrate how I'm going to manage doing my writing in addition to attending the expo. I'm going to the Toronto Super Show. Uh, that's about it. So managing fitness, a sponsorship, and writing, and fitting in working out in there somewhere too. And sleep. Sleep has not been happening, by the way, very much of it. Mine's probably going to be between 130 to 150 pages. Hmm. Sounds like fun. So we're just here at the Tampa airport. Stephanie's doing some work, mm. some writing. What's yes. she working on? I'm working on my in vitro chapter. Uh, chapter two. Chapter number two. After the intro, then I have to do mucous chemistry and in vitro. Send this chapter and my urine chapter, mm. hopefully within the next couple hours. We're gonna be working all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and Steph still has to squeeze the writing. Yeah. It's probably not the smartest thing that I've done before my dissertation. <laughs> but I think I can make I it I think you'll make it work. Yeah, have a couple late nights. 
Good morning, everyone. Today is May 26th and we are attending, Jeff and I are attending the Toronto Pro Show, but I also still have to be doing work. Everyone's having breakfast? What up? Well, I went to bed at like 4 a.m. Double vlog. <laughs> Double vlog, <laughs> and yes, Tiffany is vlogging now. So I'm, I'm doing a little bit of work today. Pasta. All right, so I sent my PI last night two drafts of two different chapters of my dissertation. She sent one back already and gave me a few ideas that I was working on, so I have to rework out this chapter and see how that goes. I will have to squeeze in some work after we go work out tonight. Are we working out tonight? Uh, yes. Hopefully. <laughs> and do some work and then chill and then try to get some sleep maybe tonight. We'll see. Nice. Like, we're like, like different. We're a boot. Yeah. Like, we're yep. like this is like paradise. Paradise. So many cameras. Just because. Yes, this is a chapter that she suggested that my immune histochemistry stays alone as a standalone chapter. And that I'll do my in vitro chapter as a separate chapter. Functional migration and invasion assays. Today is June 4th, and I am actually in a hotel. I just finished up some cardio. My e-dissertation document is due this coming Friday, and I'm actually in Fort Lauderdale. I came to visit my mom. I gotta still make time for family, even though I'm doing a lot of work. Down here, doing work, still doing cardio. Filmed a shoulder science video with Jeff yesterday, making my whole life work revolving around writing. So I've been writing like crazy. I submitted two documents to my PI yesterday. She's gonna look over those, probably get them back to me tomorrow. My whole dissertation needs to be due this Friday. From now until Friday, I will not be sleeping or training very much unfortunately, but that's okay. Last week before my dissertation is due. So after the dissertation is submitted, then I do my oral presentation and then I submit my final documents after my committee does and requests all the revisions of my dissertation. I submit it to the university after that. What? Today is June 9th and today is the final day I have to submit my written dissertation and it's due at 5 p.m. tonight. Wish me luck. This is, I've been on a high for like five hours. <laughs> I'm gonna crash when I go home. You ready? Okay. okay. You have to send it. You actually have to send okay. it. Monday, June 19th. So it is the Monday prior to my defense. I have a few things to talk to my PI about. My presentation almost entirely done. Hopefully things are looking good. I'm actually doing a practice session with my mentor and my colleague on Wednesday. So making sure I'm gonna be all good for that. And that's about it. Hey, hey how, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Beautiful so everything looks good. Just met with my PI and saw May. Everything is good for Wednesday for practice. Turning in some more forms. Then Friday, we're good to go. We can equally detect disease maybe in early and late stage because that's really what yeah, that's yes. a good point. These are all ovarian well, cancer patients. BMI. I don't know if it would help to add normal BMI. From there is talking about the cytoreductive surgery. Levels are reduced after surgery, suggesting that the tumors are the source, which is in agreement with my data. Okay, so I just got an email. Important announcement, 30 minute power outage plan to conduct test Friday, June 23rd. And it says that it's going to be conducted from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And my defense is at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So I don't That's know crazy. how to prepare for this. <laughs> First thing, flashlights. <laughs> it's gonna be a party in the dark. <laughs> practice for me. <laughs> a lot of advantages to using urine as a biomarker. It's non-invasive, uh, safe, reliable. Six of the ten showed high levels of RAM where none of the normals did. It being elevated in stage one also showed us that it was able to detect at an early stage. Today is the day Today is June 23rd, the day I defend. I have my dress on, all ready to go. I should be leaving shortly to get set up and everything, so wish me luck. Oh, 
nervous. Nervous? <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous for you. Not that you, not that I should be. Can everyone hear me okay? Okay, thank you, Dr. Buster Heidi. I'm happy that you were all able to make it. Um, unfortunately, we had like a last minute room change, so glad you guys found it. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about my dissertation project. I'm going to be telling you about the roles of elevated receptor for hyaluronic mediated motility, otherwise known as RAM, in ovarian cancer. The five year survival is just very low. So, unfortunately, most women are diagnosed in late stage, and this is for a number of reasons. To validate this, I treated the uh, Ocrum 5s and OB90s with tenicomycin. And tenicomycin prevents the very first step of end linked glycosylation. And of course, I can't forget my friends and family. I love you all very much. And with that, I will open the floor <laughs> for some questions. Caddy. <laughs> <Katie. laughs> in the beautiful British Columbia taking a little bit of time off with Jeff taking a little bit of a break from science but as you can probably tell from this video I did pour my heart and soul into my research if you did like this video please like the video and subscribe if you are new I have a lot of content coming your way stay tuned and I will catch you in the next one bye